me, for me, that's that's really the writer, uh, what what they want to reveal about the character. For me, I'm I'm trying to uh, research and and just and just just get as as clear as I can about the circumstances that the the person is in, and then try to experience those as honestly as I as I can. So I'm not really trying to project any particular trait of the person. I mean, I can describe what he's what he's probably like but from within from within duque i mean he thinks that everything that he does is is right reasonable and fair um but i think a lot of people would look at his behavior and his actions and think you know maybe he's ruthless and you know uh nasty and pathetic and you know maybe a lot of negative attributes but i think when you're inside it you you you're just gunning for their um for, for what they're trying to do, what they're trying to achieve, um, given their circumstances. Right. But as brilliant actors, you know, you bring the, the words to life off the page. So I, I think that's important. And uh, for the rest of you, what do you think? I, th I think, I think uh, you know, exactly what James said is that, you, you know, you, you're just trying to sort of um, communicate the... Uh, the character according to what's written really and, and and um you know i think you have a you know you have yeah it's, it's not really about sort of projecting a certain um one specific thing um it's just about sort of communicating the truth of that piece that you're acting in you know that scene um and 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 if the writing's good uh you know character will be communicated if, if that makes sense i think i think the that as an actor, you, you've got to really just try and focus on um, the minutiae of that, that the moment of like making it, making them moment to moment, making that truthful. Um, and uh, you know, and if the writing's strong enough, then then the then the the character will resonate with an audience. Um, but yeah, like like the, you know, there there are certainly there are certainly um, you know character traits that you can that you you know you may feel that you know something is within is out of character or within the, the, the trait of a character, um, you know, when you, uh, when you read something, but, but then again, you know, it's nothing's ever black and white, is it? So, you know, as human beings, there's so many, there's so many sort of, uh, so much variety of, of a reaction, you know, this, that's, that's within us. Um, you know, when we feel that we know ourselves the best, you know, that we'll often be, we'll often deceive ourselves with a reaction or, or something that we, that, that's unexpected that we think is unexpected from ourselves so um yeah there's ne never ever never just one emotion or one trait that you want to project it's it's just hopefully just about sort of being truthful moment to moment uh yeah well i mean the cool thing about playing somebody who's so close to who you are like i wasn't playing an oglala sue i was playing a wenda from down <laughs> from from you know down the up the river from where I'm from I'm a Mohawk and I was playing a Wendat and all of the all of the uh, the first contact stories and the wars and everything that my people the Mohawk people and the Wendat and the the uh, the treaties that we had with each other the confederacies that we had with each other and how we interacted with the first people the first settlers who came there I learned a lot of that in high school because I went to high school on my reservation. And um, that was a lot of the history that we learned in the social studies and everything. So I was sort of lucky in that I already knew a lot about this stuff and I, could, I have a lot of you know, resources that I can contact back home and um, I could talk to my mother, I could, call, I could text people who work at the cultural center, I could you know, contact my cousins who teach the language. Um, so I, I did the, re I got to, I didn't just scratch the surface of the research like I would be doing, say, if I was playing, like I said, an Oglala Sioux, which I don't know much about, but they're, you know, in the United States, in the South, the Southwest. Um, so, yeah, uh, a lot of the history pertains to my people and what happened um, after these settlers came to uh, my traditional territory. What so I did, I did research, but I did, I, I got to go more in depth and whether I like it. I think I think maybe just, you know, to 
the, the, just the question, you know, the, the, the how um, the, the choices that they make and the choices that we, we're making as a society in terms of the way that we're living with the environment. Um, I think that that would be an, that would be uh, an important and a, and a worthwhile thing to take away from the show. Um, yeah, to, to sort of you know un, un, to, to to sort of have more of an understanding and, to, and consideration for for that. Not to not that you know this is um, you know we're trying to preach or anything, but but that that is a strong message of the show. And um, yeah, James, do you want to sort of add to that? Yeah, I just for, yeah, I just second Chris, what Christian says there. But to to me, it's about you know engaging with the question around how um, how European culture um, versus the First Nations culture, how those different you know the the sort of central um, idea of sort of one sort of living against each other and living against the earth. Um, and trying to conquer it and control it versus, um, you know, being part of it. Um, I feel like that central um, question is the the thing that the show is sort of begging people to engage with, really. Well, guys, thank you so much. Wish we had more time. Again, congratulations. An amazing series and uh, absolutely mind-blowing. Job well done, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.